people will be saying, well, you didn't box AJ. So, you know, he still, might, he still has to fight AJ. Charlotte Daly with Mel Sport Boxing. I'm joined by the one and only Lennox Lewis. How are you doing? I'm good. Good, good. Well, I want to jump straight into it. This weekend, you'll be handing over the crown of Undisputed for heavyweight division. Is there a little bit of you that's sad to be handing that baton over? Not really. Uh, you know, I made, I become Undisputed uh, because that was my goal to become Undisputed champion. And it's a record that I got. And it's a record to be broken. It's for somebody else to come and break that record and hold the undisputed record for 25 years like I did. You held it for 25 years and you said that records are there to be broken. It's going to be Fury. It's going to be Usyk. It's going to be one of them. Do you think they're worthy to take it on? Yes, they are. They're definitely worthy because they've boxed for it. You know, their records really show that, you know, they've worked hard in their life and their career to become undisputed. So uh, I'm going to be happy for the, chance, the winner. <laughs> in terms of an undisputed fight, I can only imagine the pressure that is on going into something like that. And I remember George Foreman once said that even the best fighters can let the occasion get to them. How, in your experience, did you handle the occasion? I, I handled the occasion because this is what I wanted. My f main focus was to bring all the belts together and become one. It was like the Highlander. There can only be one. I, I didn't like growing up in a, in a family of uh, different heavyweight champions. Like there's a heavyweight champion over there, heavyweight champion over there. I'm the WBC heavyweight. I wanted all the belts. I think being he when you, somebody says you're a heavyweight champion of the world, it's only you. It only should be you. It shouldn't be like three other guys as well. You said before about that, and I suppose for the fans, we love an undisputed, but perhaps promoters, not quite so much, I would imagine. Yeah, promoters don't like undisputeds because they can't say to the press, hey, I've got a heavyweight champion, I've got a heavyweight. Now three promoters can say that, and it's true, they've got heavyweight champions, but not the undisputed heavyweight champion. Yeah. In terms of your fight with Evander, um, I know you said before that he brought the best out of you and, and you kind of performed your best because of what he made you do. Why was that? What did he bring out of you? And do you think that Usyk can do something similar with Tyson? Absolutely. Uh, what Holyfield brought out with me was another dimension. Another dimension as, you know, we're used to boxing, punching, using our hands, but he used his head as well. So, you know, I had to block his hands and then block his head. And in the fight, I had to do that because I couldn't complain to the ref because the ref wasn't on my side. You know, I, I, I complained once and the ref like basically told me to shut up, but he didn't see anything. So I said, okay, this is what, I'm, this is what I need to do. And I did it, I adjusted and it worked. In terms of Alexander Usyk, everyone that's been in the ring with him before talks about his kind of IQ and the fact that maybe to the naked eye, it doesn't look like he's doing a lot, but he's making you work and making you think. Do you think this will be the hardest opponent that Tyson Fury will have faced in that aspect? Yeah, I think, um, you know, this fight is not going to be an easy fight for Tyson Fury. He's in against an undisputed champ. He's in against a winner, somebody that doesn't know about losing. So, you know, Usyk is going to use up every advantage he can to try and win this fight. Mm. And your jab was kind of a weapon as yeah. such. Um, Tyson Fury, obviously his jab, when he uses it well, can win him fights. Yes. Do you think it's going to come down to that on Saturday night, how effectively he uses that jab? Yeah, because in history, Every great heavyweight had a great jab. So if you want to be a great heavyweight, you got to show your jab, and your jab has to be apparent in this fight. Mm. You said there about great heavyweights. Now, Tyson said at his press conference in Morecambe that cruiserweights typically can't mix it with the elite heavyweights, and he referenced your second fight with Evander when speaking about that. Do you agree that cruiserweights can't quite get there with the top of the heavyweight division? Yes, I do. I think they're at a disadvantage because they're cruiserweights. This, this is why we have different weight classes. You know, uh, heavyweights box heavyweights. They don't box cruiserweights. If a cruiserweight wants to move up to heavyweight and he thinks he can beat a heavyweight, you know, he has to prove it. <laughs> Tyson's also said that he thinks if he wins undisputed on the weekend that he goes above everyone else in history, including yourself. Do you think that's accurate or do you think there's more to be done? 
I uh, know there's more to be done because people will be saying, well, you didn't box AJ. So, you know, he still, might, he still has to fight AJ. I think that that's the fight that the British public are going to love and that the British public will want. Well, my final question for you there, you touched on AJ. It is a fight that we do really want to see. How would you see that one going down between Tyson Fury and AJ? I think it'll be a good fight. Uh, they both have good skills. Uh, you know, everybody's going to be looking at uh, AJ's right hand. You know, can he hit Tyson Fury? And uh, I think that's what they're going to be counting on. And AJ has a great uh, left-right hand uh, combination, as we've seen in the Ngannou fight. And quickly, uh, Fury or Usyk, who's going to win it? The best man will win it. Uh, I'm going to go lean and say um, Tyson Fury is going to win it because he's the bigger man, longer arms, and has all the good attributes. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.